Hey guys, what's up? Cobra A A here, uh, bringing to you my painted German uh, army uh, kind of a showcase. This will be my Axes and Allies Global 40 uh, painted pieces, and I'll make another video on my uh, 36 uh, pieces. So first up we have the infantry, uh, just the stock infantry that comes with the game. I went with a red and black base for uh, represent German pieces, uh, but pretty much everything in the German army is the kind of Panzer Grey, so it uh, it's it's pretty easy to tell what they are. This is my Africa Corps infantry, which is uh, just my infantry I'll be using when I uh, invade Africa or build in Africa. Uh, so. They look pretty nice. I like the uh, um, the tan color scheme on them, and uh, here's them compared to the normal infantry. So next up is my flag bearer. Uh, this thing I would just use in uh, overpopulated places like Berlin in the beginning of the game. This is my uh, mechanized infantry. Pretty nice, just the stock half track. I didn't bother buying a uh, hollowed out version from Historical Board Gaming just because I think. Uh, it with a tarp over the back of it did pretty well. This is my uh, artillery piece. Uh, yeah, just black little dot represents the cannon barrel. Uh, did the black for the tires. Nice little artillery piece. Um, yeah, it kind of stinks that I didn't use the pack 40 artillery, but um, yeah, I think it does the job. I replaced all the Panther tanks. Uh, in this game with the uh, historical board gaming Panzer 3s just because I thought they were more prominent and looked a lot better also they were on sale so I might as well have bought them uh, painted on all the little uh, iron crosses to the sides of the turrets these look really, really nice uh, I kept a couple Panthers just to kind of you know you can build them in the late war if you want to be historically accurate and they uh, look kind of cool with the uh, camouflage scheme on them um, uh, yeah, so next up is my Tiger Tank. These things I would just be using in, uh, like, normal axes and allies. Uh, these are Global 1941 pieces. Uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. Uh, got the machine gunner, the extra track on the side of it. Uh, just a really cool tank in general. Uh, even got the little, uh, kind of muzzle brake at the end of it. Uh, with a toothpick. Yeah, so uh, the weather weathering effects on it make it look pretty cool, and here's it compared to the standard tank. Uh, these are my heavy tanks in Global 36, so they do the job well at being bigger. This is the anti-aircraft gun. Just, uh, you know, uh, spray painted it and put a wash over it. Pretty simple. Uh, I do like the mold for this with the uh, turrets on, I mean, like the uh, shields on the sides of the gun. They do look pretty cool. This is my uh, fighter plane. I did start uh, doing unit recognition colors on the, the wings and such. Uh, so fighters are blue, and uh, I did all the iron crosses on the planes by hand. Uh, next up is the Stuka tactical bomber, and uh, it's got the little uh, engine shroud in black underneath the, uh, the nose tip. Uh, these are all early war plane color schemes. That's why they all have the uh, yellow on them. I just think it helps uh, in recognizing them. So, uh, yeah, next up is my heavy or regular bomber. Um, pretty nice piece in 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 all. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and I'm using green to represent heavy bomber. Uh, and I did all my planes up. Uh, the under undersides are all painted. So. I do like the look of that, and all the uh, fighters and ta tactical bombers are magnetized, too. Here's my uh, submarine. I don't really like the German submarine, just because it tips over too much, but it uh, it's alright when you're playing the game. I replaced all my uh, transports with these 1941 Japanese transports, just because they're cheap and look way better than the uh, standard transports that come with the Axis and Allies uh, Global 40. This is my cruiser, another nice looking piece, uh, yeah, so I do like the cruisers, they uh, have a good amount of detail on them in general for most of the countries, so yeah, 
This is the Destroyer. I always like the Destroyers because they just have a lot of detail and a small space. Uh, you can also build them pretty easily for all the nations, so you see them a lot. It's good to get a lot of detail into them for as naval units go. I use blue to a, as the um, color recognition on the tip. This is my Graf Zeppelin aircraft carrier. Uh, magnetized flight deck by Seared Blood. Um, and uh, the um, kind of needle flag that I usually do. This is a really nice aircraft carrier. It's pretty big. The only thing I don't like about it is it tips over fairly easily. But it, because of its size, it does look nice with all the planes on top of it. This is the Bismarck Battleship. Uh, another nice looking piece. Uh, yeah. Pretty standard battleship in general. Uh, just kind of uh, use black as the uh, recognition. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, Cobra, out.